It was a dark and stormy night. People were going about their daily lives as usual all around the world, completely oblivious to the chaos that was about to be unleashed upon them. It appeared, however, Earth was in danger of being struck by an asteroid as it hurtled through space. When the asteroid first appeared, astronomers and scientists were dubious, but as the days passed and it got closer, it became obvious that this was no ordinary space rock. The Earth began to shake and quiver as the asteroid entered the atmosphere people started to realize the unthinkable was going to happen and buildings around them began to tremble. The asteroid struck with the equivalent force of a million nuclear bombs, shaking the entire world. Cities were instantly obliterated and the impact left a huge crater that polluted the atmosphere with dust and debris. The results were disastrous. The sky became red and Earth was enveloped in darkness. Today on High Tech, we're going to talk about a topic that might seem a little bit out of this world, but it's something that scientists and experts are taking very seriously. The doomsday event of a threat of a large asteroid colliding with Earth. If you enjoy this type of content, please click the like and subscribe button and comment what other topics you would like to see us cover in the future. In 1998, the NASA Near-Earth Observation Program was funded and began their stifling and meticulous work of identifying every comet or asteroid that comes within 48 million kilometres of Earth's orbit. Unlike comets who are often lit up and are easy to see, asteroids are difficult to see coming. They are cold, dark rocks made of heavy metals with no trail of light behind them. Asteroids can sneak up on us without any warning, leading to a possible catastrophic event. The NEO program is dedicated to making sure that situations such as this don't happen. Over the past several decades, NASA has been continuing to advance their technology to better understand and identify NEOs, near-Earth objects, and with that, create technology that would be used to redirect the NEO before it could ever enter Earth's orbit. Data about NEOs are collected from hundreds of terrestrial or space-based telescopes and radars around the world. In 2014, the NASA Office of Inspector General's report spoke of the program stating that NASA was putting a lot of time and thought into identifying NEOs and mitigating possible hazards. NASA sought to reorganize certain programs, either leaving them behind or creating a new sector for the funding to go into leading to the formation of the Planetary Defence Coordination Office, or PDCO. Tracking NEOs isn't the Planetary Defence Coordination Office's only task, however. In addition to finding and tracking NEOs that could pose a threat to Earth, they also characterise those objects to determine the orbit trajectory, mass, shape, size, composition and other parameters so experts can determine the severity of a potential collision course situation. Experts also attempt to determine the timing and potential effects of an impact event to decide the means to mitigate the impact. The PDOC plans and implements measures to deflect and disrupt a NEO's impact course, or to mitigate the effects in a collision course which cannot be avoided. On November 23, 2021, at approximately 10.21 p.m., NASA and PDOC launched their first ever mission dedicated towards investigating NEOs further and demonstrating one possible method of asteroid deflection. This mission was called DART, Double Asteroid Redirection Test, and for the first time ever in human history, scientists were able to reposition a celestial body's orbit. According to NASA, there are over one million known asteroids that vary in their size, shape and composition that orbit around the Sun. Over the years, dozens of asteroids have impacted Earth, some of which have caused devastating results, such as the asteroid impact which caused the mass extinction of dinosaurs millions of years ago. In order to test and develop a method to mitigate or stop catastrophic asteroid impacts on Earth, NASA launched DART. Over 10 months ago, DART was launched into space and has since been travelling until the six-foot-long spacecraft collided with an asteroid known as Dimorphos. 
Dimorphos was chosen for a rather unique reason. It's a moonlet. Dimorphos is a tiny moon that orbits a larger asteroid, 65803 Didymos, which classifies this as a binary asteroid system. The DART spacecraft housed no scientific instruments as it was designed to be a low-cost project. DART was outfitted with only the tools it needed to complete the mission. Cameras to see the target, star trackers to navigate through space, a propulsion system to direct the spacecraft towards its target, an antenna system to transmit data back to Earth and an onboard computer whose software is deeply rooted in military missile technology. The Falcon 9 rocket did most of the work in directing DART towards Dimorphos. DART's cameras were able to capture a glimpse of Didymos as it sailed by at record-breaking speeds before closing the final 920 kilometres in less than two and a half minutes. DART's computer software computed and adjusted the spacecraft's trajectory accordingly by using high-design thrusters to guide the spacecraft to a head-on impact with the surface of the asteroid. To study the results of DART's impact on the asteroid, NASA needed a specific kind of asteroid. At the time, Dimorphos was passing relatively close to Earth at 11 million kilometres away. NASA closely tracked Dimorphos and was able to predict where the asteroid would be at any given point, allowing NASA to choose an optimum window for impact. Models showed that in late 2022, Dimorphos would be at its closest to Earth for the next 40 years, thus creating the perfect opportunity to test DART. This would allow for Dimorphos to be at its brightest, allowing for better observation of the impact results. The next reason Dimorphos was chosen for the asteroid redirection test was to attempt to rearrange the asteroid orbit with enough force to marginally change its trajectory. DART used what is called Kinetic Impactor Technology, which was designed to deflect NEOs, changing their collision course or orbit. According to engineers, DART collided with the asteroid at approximately 14,000 miles per hour. When navigating a spacecraft as small as DART, there is no room for error, thus leading to the development of the Smart Nav system. SmartNav Small Body Maneuvering Autonomous Real-Time Navigation, which is a set of computational algorithms that, in accordance with the other navigation systems, such as the Didymos Reconnaissance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation, Draco on DART, will independently find Dimorphos and guide the spacecraft directly to the surface for impact. Scientists knew from the onset of DART's development that the mission would require a self-governing component something that was able to make decisions on its own. Before the collision on Dimorphos, scientists knew very little about the asteroid, only what they would gather from small pixelated images. Now, however, scientists are able to study images of the impact that were captured by the Lycia Cube, an Italian CubeSat. 15 days before the final impact of DART, the Lycia Cube was deployed from the spacecraft to capture photos of the impact and the possible ejected matter from the collision. In tandem with the images returned from the Draco system, the images assisted scientists to better understand and characterise the effectiveness the kinetic impact technology had on deflecting asteroids. Scientists since the collision have been researching the effect DART had on the orbit of the asteroid, measuring any possible changes. Prior to the impact, it took Dimorphos roughly 11 hours and 54 minutes to complete one orbit around Didymos. But since the impact, that time is likely to change now, and scientists are unsure just how much of a change that will be. To measure the change of orbit to the asteroid, the DART investigation team will collect data on 65803 Didymos light curves. Light curves are a measurement of a celestial body's brightness at particular intervals. By studying the light curves, Rivkin and his team will be able to compare the old and new orbit with each other to determine the effect DART had. In October 2024, the European Space Agency is scheduled to launch a reconnaissance mission called HERA in order to survey the surface of Dimorphos to create a detailed report on the effects of DART. HERA will allow for scientists to have a better understanding of Dimorphos' internal properties as well as the final outcome of the DART test. 
In addition to DART, the PDCO is working towards further developing technology that will expand NASA's ability to search for asteroids and comets. The NEO Surveyor is an infrared space telescope that is designed to discover NEOs measuring 460 feet in diameter or larger. While no known NEOs pose a threat of impact to Earth, there are undetectable NEOs that scientists don't catch, like the 2013 Chelyabinsk incident in Russia. While DART was only a test and the asteroid of 65803 Didymos pose no real threats to Earth currently, Conducting real-world research is vital to developing reliable options for further planetary defence methods and potentially saving humanity from suffering the same fate as the dinosaurs.